Hi, welcome to AT Math. Today, 1, 3, multiplying and dividing real numbers. What you have here is a case where if you have, you're multiplying two negatives or you're multiplying two positives, the result's going to be a positive. The way to remember it, two positives make a positive or two negatives make a positive. On the other hand, if you have a positive and a negative, one of each in other words, it will turn out to be negative. Examples, and we'll use the four same numbers to give the example here. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Uh, 2 times 2, of course, is 4. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. 2 are the same, positive result. 2 different is a negative. Now take a look at this here. Let's say x equals 5 over 4 and we say it's 8x. So basically it's 8 times 5 over 4. The easy way to do it is take the number times the top divide by the bottom. So we're going to take 8 times it by the 5 and then just take that whole thing and divide by 4. And what you'll find is 8 times 5 is 40 and then divide by 4 makes 10. Now a shortcut which I don't have here is since you're going to times by the top and divide by the bottom you can actually divide by the bottom first. So 8 divided by 4 is 2 times 5 is 10. Whichever way is better for you. Go ahead and do a quick U try. Let's see how you do in a second. Go ahead and pause. Okay. Let's see how you did here. Let's move these over. I have negative 6 times negative 4 and that is a positive 24. 9 times negative 4 is negative 36. I have negative 11 times 6 which is negative 66. Negative 3 times 8 over 6, I'm going to take the shortcut and take negative 3 divide by 6, which is going to be negative half times 8, which is negative 4. Or if you prefer negative 3 times 8, which is negative 24, divided by 6 is negative 4, whichever makes you happy. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, divided by 4 is negative 2. And negative 13 times 40 over 26, well, either way, I'm going to take negative 13 divided by 26 makes negative a half times 40 is negative 20. Or if you prefer, negative 13 times 40 is going to be negative 520 divided by 26 is negative 20. So either way, you get the answer. How'd you do? Did you get 6 out of 6? Let's go on to the next page. Now, if you have two fractions you're multiplying, the easiest way to do it is take top times top, bottom times bottom. So 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 4 is 12, then merely reduce. Now, how do you find the greatest common factor? We have 6 and 12. What two numbers can 6 and 12 both be divided by? And the answer is 6. Divide both by 6 and you get 1 half. Now, I want to give you a quick uh, shortcut again. Some of you might know this already. Before we take top times top and bottom times bottom, do you notice how there's a 3 on the top and bottom? You can take the greatest common factor before you multiply, as long as you do it to the top and bottom. It doesn't matter, by the way, if it's at this one or this one, as long as it's one on the top, one on the bottom. So we'll divide this by 3, and divide this by 3. By doing so, this whole thing becomes a 1, and this becomes a 1. I can also take 2 and 4 and divide them both by 2, and get a 1 and a 2. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Notice how it becomes a half either way. Some people like this method. Some people don't. Whatever you like doing, do that. Go ahead and use either method and try these four at this time. Go ahead and pause. Let's see how you did. So here, 4 times... Now here we cannot do any pre-division because the top's even and the bottoms are odds. 4 times 2 though is 8. 5 times 5 is 25. Here, a negative and a negative make a positive, so it's still going to be a positive answer. I can pre-divide a 2 and the 8 to make a 1 and a 4, dividing both by a 2. 1 times 2 is 2. Now, 4 times 5 is 20. I see now. I could divide both by 2 again. Either way, no matter how you sling it, it's going to be 1 tenth. Um, positive, by the way. That's the equal sign. Why is it positive once again? Because two negatives make a positive. Here, both have a 6 in top and bottom. So I'm just going to get rid of those and put 1's. And 5 over 7. Negative and a positive makes a negative. I can divide 2 out of both of these. I can divide a 3 out of this guy, as long as I divide a 3 here. And I can divide a 3 again. Looks like it 1 over 2, so negative 1 half. How many did you get right? Let's see. 
Very good. Now we're going to review reciprocal. Reciprocal simply means to turn upside down. So instead of 4 or 5, the reciprocal will be 5 over 4. Just switches the numerator and denominator. You do this after division sign. Do not flip the fra first fraction. In other words, if you have 4 fifths divided by 2 fifths, 4 fifths stays the same. It's 2 fifths that will be swapped. So instead of 2 over 5, it becomes 5 over 2. But 4 over 5 does not flip. Now that you have 4 fifths times 5 halves, you can take top times top, bottom times bottom. Don't forget we could just go ahead and pre-divide, put these at 1, divide both of these by 2, and get 2 over 1 that way. Either way works, neither way is wrong. You go ahead and try. Go ahead and pause. Let's see how you did. Well, we have to go ahead and flip these to 5 over 2. Also, there's a 5 in top and bottom. There's a 4 and 2 in top and bottom. Divide both by 2. Looks like my answer is 2. Here I got a flip, 5 over 2. By the way, when you flip, you don't flip the negative. Negatives are just negatives. Negative, only when you flip them, by the way, the divide becomes a times if I didn't say so. Negative and negative make a positive. You can get rid of a 2 in both. Makes 5 over 8. So looks like I'm getting 5 eighths. Here you got a flip, 6 over 5. Nothing really to pre-divide. Six, six times six is thirty-six. Seven times five is thirty-five. Now, honestly, I don't mind if you keep it like this. If you want to make one and three fifths, that's excellent as well. You will find a lot of times this year, though, that you might want to keep uneven fractions because of graphing, which we'll get to later. And finally, flipping three fourths to become four thirds. We can go ahead and knock out a three here. and make that times out. 2 times 4 is 8, 9 times 1 is 9, and almost forgot. This is a negative and this was a positive, and a negative and positive make a negative, so it's negative 8 nines. How many did you get right now? Now when you have a mixed numeral like this, 3 and 3 fourths times 2 and 2 fifths, to do it the correct way, you want to get rid of this big 3. Now how do you do that? Well, remember for how you times the top and divide by bottom? This is different because this isn't multiply, this is attached. What you actually do is you take this times the bottom. So you take 3 times 4 and you add the 3. So 3 times 4 is 12, plus 3 makes 15. So it's basically 15 over 4. And let me give you a very brief explanation why. Because I know most of you probably already know this, you're like, I already know this, but let's just go ahead and take a look anyway. Now you'll have to pardon the crude drawing here. I'll just try to knock it out for you best I can. What we're going to do is we're going to say this is 3 and 3 quarters pies. Not pie is the math equation, just yummy pie that you eat. So we'll go ahead and say this is 3 pie and this is 3 quarter. And now we're going to say okay, well the question is how many pieces of pie could you serve if you have 3 and 3 quarters pies? Well assuming they're all cut into quarters because that's the number here, I'm going to say okay I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and you only have three quarters of this one, so 13, 14, 15. This one's empty. Looks like someone already had a piece of pie. So it looks like you have 15 pieces of pie, which are right here. Now why is it over four? Because it's 15 pieces, because and they're all chopped into quarters, so 15 fourths. So that's the slow version of why you're doing that, just so you know. Anyway, 15 over 4, and then still times 2 fifths. So what you're going to do is, again, top times top, bottom times bottom. 15 times 2 is 30, 4 times 5 is 20. You go ahead and find the greatest common factor, which is 10. Divide out the 10, and there you go. I'll take 3 halves. You can also make 1 and a half or 1.5. Understand, for this example, I'll take this this or this. I know the first week of Algebra 1, a lot of people are like, well, which one do you want? Honestly, I want the right answer. And any one of these three qualifies the right answer. Now, if I say I need them in uh, decimals, then this would be the right answer. If I said I want them in an improper fraction, there you go. If I want them in a mixed numeral, there you go. So unless I tell you, I will accept any of these three. There'll never be any confusion with me. If I don't clarify, I'll be more accepting of your answer is similar to mine, as long as you can show me why you got it. 
So that's how you do that. Also, did you notice how I could have pre-divided here? 15 to 5 divided by 5 to both, 3 and 1. 2 and 4 divide both by 2. And I still get 3 over 2, which is what I have way down here. So either way, it's fine. You go ahead and try these two at this time. Go ahead and pause. How'd you do? Let's take a look. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12. So 12 over 5 times 6 ninths. I can do a little pre-division. Divide both by 3 and get 4 over 3. Divide both these by 3 and get 2 over 1. 4 times 2 is 8. 5 times 1 is 5. I'll take 8 fifths. I'll take 1 and 3 fifths. And I'll even take 1.6, I believe. Yes. So either one of those three are fine. Here, 4 times 4 is 16, plus 3 is 9, excuse me. 19, geez. 19 over 4 times 2 over 6. Can't do nothing with 19 because it's prime. I can divide out 2, though. By the way, it didn't matter if I divided 2 here or took 2's here, it wouldn't make a difference. 19 times 1 is 19. 2 times 6 is 12. Again, I'll take this. I'll take 1 and 7 twelfths. Or I'll take whatever equation that breaks down to. And if you're not sure, by the way, and suppose you don't have a, um, a calculator handy. Now, you probably already know this, of course, but if you go into your computer, almost any different uh, Word program has this. You can go ahead and go to Accessories, which are right here, and go to Calculator. And from right there, just 7 divided by 12. Almost every Windows computer has a calculator in there. If you're not sure, you can also look up the calculator. So 0 0.583, so okay, 1.583. If for some reason you can't find accessories, you should be able to go up to here into your search bar, Calculator. And there it is. So either way. The zero rule. Any time, anything times zero is zero. So I don't care if it's zero times zero or a million times zero or negative fifty-four third and a fifth times zero, it's still zero. Zero divided by anything is also zero. But the only thing you can't do is you can't divide by zero. It has to be divided by something and you can't divide by nothing. Anything divided by zero is undivided because you can't divide by nothing. I don't want to get into the particulars, it just is. Just can't divide by zero. That's all. We try the universal explode or something, I'm pretty sure. Okay. okay, so go ahead and give these a try real quick. Go ahead and pause. Let's see how you did. Zero divided by eight, well that's gonna be zero. Zero times nine is zero. Twelve divided by zero is undefined. And eight times zero is zero. How'd you do? Did you get all four? Hope so. Now if you have your textbook out, please turn to page twenty two and read the example. Basically what we have here, I believe the example was on an air balloon, and I believe that the wind was blown at 4.7 miles an hour, and it was a trip of 2.5 hours. The question, I believe, was how far is it going to go? What do you do? We insert the speed, or the rate, which is 4.75, multiply by the time, 2.5. So again, we'll go ahead, since I have it out, take our handy-dandy calculator, and go ahead and, now where is the clear button? I think it's there, good. 4.75 times 2.5 looks like it's going to be 11.875 miles. How do I get miles? Because 4.75 miles per hour times two and a half hours. Take a look here. Blot out. I will not have you do page 23, 2 through 33. We'll do that tomorrow. You'll have a short quiz instead. Thanks again. Take care.